Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to EQ in Studio One. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to walk you through it. Here's what the song sounds like just with auto-tune on, no EQ or any other effects. Cool, so the first thing we want to do is, I like to put the everything in mono, so the beat and the vocal in mono when I uh, EQ. I do this because I like to have an accurate representation of what I'm listening to. Basically, if you have things in stereo, it will confuse your ears a little bit. So like, for example, this beat is already mixed, so having it uh, with a regular stereo image just in stereo, um, it'll sound really wide, and then with the vocal in the center, it'll just kind of, it'll have things off a little bit. If you have everything mono, it puts everything in perspective with one another, it puts it all in the center, and you have an accurate representation of what you're listening to. So, cool. This is the mono button in uh, Studio One. Start there. And then uh, here's the channel strip that the vocal is on, so it just has a little bit of autotune on it, or a lot of autotune on it. So add EQ, and uh, what we want to do is we want to listen to the vocal in the mix and just have it on loop. Cool. So I like this. After this, I'll basically just like add reverb and stuff on it, but we're just talking about EQing in this video. So basically what I did was I cut the low end out, as you can see right here. We do this because the low end of the vocal will conflict with the 808s in the beat if you don't cut this out. So you might not hear it in headphones or maybe on your laptop speakers, but you might feel it and you'll definitely hear it in the car. So if you don't cut this out, if you're in a nightclub or you're in a car, then uh, it'll just sound muddy. So you want to just leave it just to your 808s and kick should sit down here. Your vocal shouldn't unless you're going for that kind of like effect. Um, so anyways, cut this low end out. Then we uh, took this low filter and we just did a little dip right here. I do this because I like to ease in the, uh, the um, band, I guess. So it's more of a slope. It's less harsh. So um, basically if you go um, right here, I like to just taper it a little bit more, I guess I would say. You just, it's for tapering. Um, so having it like that makes it a little bit more natural sounding. And then over here, I brought this up a little bit. Um, this is to make up, or I guess kind of compensate for all the low end that we took out. We still wanna give the listener the perspective or the idea that there's still low end in the vocal. So I just boosted up a little bit right here. It's kind of like a, um, I don't know, it's like an illusion. And then up here, uh, basically what we're trying to do is when we EQ vocals, we wanna carve out a space for the vocal. So you have the beat. The beat in this case was thankfully already recorded and the beat is mixed. Um, now we're just basically with the vocal, the goal was to find a space for the vocal where it can sit, where it's not conflicting with the beat. 
it just has its own kind of space. So I felt like up here um, with this kind of vocal, it's got more of a high-end male vocal. Um, it's really going to thrive in the upper frequency bands. So this beat itself is very low end driven. Obviously there's some mid range and upper mid range uh, synths going on, but um, it's mostly low end focused. So we want to dominate the higher end of the spectrum with the vocal. So basically I just boost frequencies until, well, not in every case I don't always boost, sometimes I take out, but in this case I boosted to just fill in that space. So I want to make it feel like it's just a wall of sound. Uh, when you hear a song, it just feel like a wall of sound um, where the high frequency to the low frequencies are all just filled out. Nothing feels like it's lacking or anything like that. And I felt like to fill out that wall of sound, um, this vocal would do really well in the high end. So I brought some of that out up here. So I'll mute some of it and I'll bring it back in so you can really get a sense for what it's doing. Cool. So um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, like and subscribe. If you like the short format videos, let me know. And I can do one on compression. I could do one on uh, distortion. I can go through a bunch of different songs. Um, let me know what you guys want and uh, I'll basically make it. So uh, see you guys next time.